Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the bubble stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, the single crochet stitch, the double crochet stitch, the cluster stitch, and how to work in the front loops. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning, making chains, you're going to make chains in the multiple of 3 plus 1. I have already made 22 chains on my hook. To start row 1, make 1 double crochet into the 4th chain from your hook. We're going to start our sequence, skip 2 chains, and into the next one make 3 double crochet. So same thing, skip two chains, into the next one, make three double crochet. Skip two chains, into the next one, make three double crochet. Skip two chains, into this next one, make three double crochet. Skip two chains into this next one, make three double crochet. When you reach the end of your row, you're going to have three chains left. We're going to skip two like we've been doing, but into the last chain, you're only going to make two double crochet to complete row one. And that's how row one is looking. To start row two, make one chain. Make one single crochet into the first stitch of this row. We're now going to be working into the front loop of this single crochet we just made. So it's going to be this loop right here. I have a video on how to identify a front loop and I will have that listed down below like I said before but it is going to be this loop of the single crochet. So we're going to make three chains, one, two, and three. We're now going to make a three double crochet cluster into the front loop of this single crochet. So you're going to yarn over your hook one time, insert your hook into the front loop of that single crochet, Grab that yarn, pull it through, pulling up a loop. Yarn over, take that through two loops only. That is the bottom of one double crochet. If you are familiar with the cluster stitch, a cluster stitch is a bunch of bottoms of double crochets all clustered together. So we need three of these. So we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over. Insert your hook back into that front loop, grab that yarn, pull it through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, take that through two loops only. That is going to be the bottom of another double crochet. So we have two so far, we've got to do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook back into that front loop, grab that yarn, pull it through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, take that through two loops only. We have the bottoms of three double crochet. Now that we have all three of those made, we can yarn over and take that through all of those loops to cluster that together. So it's going to be three chains over here and then the bottoms of three double crochet or a three double crochet cluster into the front loop of that single crochet. So now you're going to skip over to the middle double crochet of the next set of three. So this is these are two double crochet right here from our last row. This is our next set of three. You're going to skip to that middle one and you're going to make a single crochet. And then we're going to be starting that process all over again. Make three chains, one, two, and three. Then you're going to make that three double crochet cluster into the front loop of that single crochet you just made. So 
So I have those three made, yarn over, take that through all of the loops to cluster that together, skip to the next set of three double crochet, make a single crochet into that middle stitch. Then start all over again, make three chains, then I'm going to make that three double crochet cluster into the front loop of that single crochet I had just made. I have all three of those made, yarn over, take that through all four of those loops to cluster them together. Skip to the middle double crochet of the next three, make a single crochet chain three, make that three double crochet cluster into the front loop of that single crochet you had just made. I have all three of those made. I have four loops on my hook, yarn over, cluster them all together by taking that yarn through. Skip to the middle double crochet of the next three and make a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Make that three double crochet cluster into the front loop of the single crochet you just made. I ended up clustering those together, so that's how our cluster is looking. You're going to skip to the middle double crochet of your previous next three, make that single crochet, make three chains, then make that three double crochet cluster into the front loop of the single crochet you just made. I have all three of those made. I have four loops, yarn over, take that through all four loops to cluster that together. When you get to the end of your row, you're gonna have two stitches and then some chains left. Into the tops of those chains, we're gonna treat this as a double crochet. You're gonna make a single crochet into those chains to complete this row. And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, make three chains. Row three is going to be very similar to row one. We're just gonna be working into stitches instead of chains. Into the first stitch of your row, make one double crochet. Now we're gonna skip over all of this cluster stuff completely. We're gonna be working into previous single crochets, which are these stitches right here in between. So you're gonna jump over this cluster into this previous single crochet, make three double crochet. And this is what we're gonna be doing until we reach the end of our row. So jump over the next cluster into this previous single crochet, make three double crochet. Skip over this next cluster into this previous single, make three double crochet. Skip all of this next cluster into this previous single crochet, make three double crochet. Skip this next cluster stitch into this next previous single, make three double crochet. Now when we get to the end of our row, we have this cluster stitch and then we have a stitch right here, which is a single crochet. We're gonna skip this cluster stitch and then working into this last stitch or last single, we're gonna make two double crochet, which is going to match the chain three and the double crochet we had made at the beginning of this row. And that's how row three is looking. 
You would now alternate between rows two and three for however long you want your project. And that is going to be how to make the bubble stitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.